Good day everyone, how are you all doing? This is Zix here, back again with another video. So in today's video I'm going to be looking at Bitcoin and to talk about the bull run that is happening right now. Obviously right now you're seeing a lot of crazy price action today, Bitcoin has exploded but we need to ignore this and look at the kind of long term future in a bit more detail. So put your seatbelts on, let's get the show on the road. So let's have a quick look at some, firstly let's have a look at the market as it is exploding so it requires a bit of observation to see what exactly is happening. Bitcoin today has absolutely exploded. Is there any reason for this? Now you know that personally I don't really look at a lot of the news, what they say is if you want to find out what's going to happen in the news, have a look at the charts and the news will follow. So the charts, we have had an explosion to, right, we haven't closed above this high from uh, the 24th, 25th November and that closed at 19,160. So we whipped all the way to 19,800. Um, but obviously you can see here that there's clearly a bit of selling pressure at this point. So will it be, will it actually cross this point? We're going to find out by the end of the day, but clearly there is some selling pressure here. So we're going to need a, a lot more volume to try and get past that. If we do get past that, we are officially in the unknown when it comes to Bitcoin. And we haven't been at that level for since 2017. So it might end up being like a massive explosion to 21, 22, 23,000. Um, it's really hard to tell as that will be like a point of price discovery. So we'll have to see, but at the moment we are just past the high of uh, the closure of 20, 19,160. The rest of the market seems to be following XRP with a 5%, you know, in the green. Ethereum is about 3.5% in the green again. It's whipped to the previous high from a few days ago. Um, it's obviously again, there's a lot of people or a fair amount of people have put selling orders at this level, hence why it's been rejected. So we may not cross this point, we may, we'll have to see as the day comes to a close and then the next few days in this week. Looking at total market cap, we are 5.27% in the green. Again, similar story. We haven't gone past the previous high from a few days ago and there's a bit of selling pressure at this point. So if we close above this point, that would be a good sign, but it could be a fake out and we have to be very careful. But the point of the video is more to look at Bitcoin on the long term uh, time frame. So let's go back to Brave New Coin, the fantastic index, and let's go to the monthly. Now this index is a lot more reliable. Um, it takes away all the kind of volume from uh, exchanges that are not confirmed and verified. So it's a much more reliable thing to look at. So firstly, let's look at the previous bull market and particularly as we're approaching the all time high and surpassing it, what has happened um, when we cross that point. So you can see here at this point, which was April 2017, um, the bull run lasted from that point on. So normally it takes about five, 426 days from the prior high before the um, Bitcoin halving. And for us at the moment, that is this point here. So we've closed properly above it, retested above it um, in October of this year. You could count, you know, August this year because we did close above it first. So we can look at both uh, levels and see how long, you know, if we count 426 days at a minimum. So 427 days would be from August and that would take us to September 21. If we looked at it from October, which was the first proper close above it at, after the retest, then we're looking at 365 days to October, but 426, that would take us to 
basically the end of 2021. So the past never repeats itself as the famous saying goes, but it does rhyme. So we could be, you know, we could be basically looking at around end of 2021 or perhaps a bit earlier, maybe up to October, September, or maybe a bit later into 2022. That's, when, that's what they talk about when it says it rhymes. It could be a bit earlier, it could be a bit later, it could be very close to that time. So that's a very good kind of uh, metric to look at when it comes to this bull run. Let's also have a look at how much the price increased from that point. Firstly, if you look at the price from the prior to the halving high, the price increased about 2,800%. It's about 28x. If you look at it and look at 28x from this point, that would take us very high into about 300,000. Now let's look at it from just past the all time high. That's the 15x. And let's do that over here. That would take us again close to 300,000. But again, history doesn't repeat exactly, but it does rhyme. So, and when it comes to price and Bitcoin reaching new all time highs, every time it's done it, which is two, three times in the past, it's diminished what they call diminishing returns. So it's been a lot less by orders of magnitudes. Um, so it's not going to reach 28x or 15x, it's probably going to be a lot less. So let's try and look at something a bit more realistic. If we look at like a 15, 50% decrease from those two levels, that would be 14x or uh, a 7x. So from this, that would be 28x. So let's have a look at that. So a 14x from that point would be 1400. And that would take us to 166,000. Or from this point, it would be 7x. And that would take us to around 100,000. So that's a lot more realistic than 28x or 14x because the market cap would be have to be ginormous for it to get to that level. So I mean $100,000 for Bitcoin to reach in the next bull run which probably will be near the end of next year at least is a conservative target in my opinion. Now is it going to reach that? Obviously, there's no guarantees. It may get to 23, 25 and then turn around. Who knows? China could do something crazy and just completely wreck the, the, the whole network because it does have a lot of miners, miners and mining power in that area when it comes to Bitcoin. So there's always going to be the possibility of like a black swan event, which could completely derail everything. But if you look at kind of the trajectory and how Bitcoin has been going in the last 10 years, the, the trends, that's where it's looking. Every time it reaches a new all time high, it's a lot less than the previous one. For example, when all time high was reached at this point and it got all the way to $33, the next one was $238, which was about, you know, shy of a 10x. But then the the major all-time high which was a thousand dollars that would have been at 34x so 34x from that point to the next all-time high was 16x so you can see you know almost half so the next point from a 16 to an 8x as said 100 170 so let's have a look at some charts in regards to Bitcoin on a long term time frame. So this all indicates that it will be next year, probably near the end of next year, maybe 2022, that will be the peak of the bull run. But make, make no mistake of it, the fact that we're closing past this point, right, the, the highest monthly close well, ever is 100% confirmation that we are in a bull run. As a matter of fact, the fact when we close above the high before the halving, as you can see here, this is the start, the real start of the bull run. And when we get past the all time high, that's when it starts to accelerate. As you can see here, we've gotten past the prior high before the halving. 
in August and now once we close above this we may retest but we're probably going to start accelerating throughout the year so that's basically what I've been, what I'm trying to to um, convey in this video so this is a very cool uh, chart it's more of a fancy gimmick but it still outlines Bitcoin's trajectory going forward uh, on a long term time frame uh, it's called the Bitcoin Bitcoin rainbow price charts very nice and colorful and it basically looks at you know with the points at where it's very very oversold and very uh, no very overbought sorry and very oversold at this point so we have of course reached the we've gone way past the point of kind of being oversold um, at these levels in the blue area and now reaching the middle where it was still it's still cheap because if you look at it if you go all the way back up, up to the top at maximum bu bubble territory at 106,000 buying it at 20,000 is still pretty cheap and you can see as you go through the colors you know you start to get into a phase where you start to fear is this a bubble you know it intensifies and people when people really when they really start to especially the retail trailers without much exper experience they think oh my goodness this is going to go up to a million and they jump in and most experienced traders will know at this point okay you need to sell you know you, this is when you start hearing the taxi drivers and the people at the laundrette start to talk about you should buy bitcoin that's when you sell everything or most of your portfolio and of course maximum bubble territory you don't know at what point it's going to collapse at this at this stage so similar to kind of the predictions even though it was a very you know 50% diminishing returns it's just kind of a half as a, a number I got from you know out of the air you can see here when we're getting close to the end of 2021 the figures 150,000 to 200,000 um, is you know near the max of where realistically they think it can get to of course it can get a lot higher who knows the fed the fed federal reserve might just pump fiat currency to oblivion and then everything you know that is an asset will become way too expensive so it could very well go way past this but it's unlikely but um you can see most likely it's going to be near the end of 2021 just before or just after it's hard to tell it's very hard to tell now these things are not exact as well in my view they're kind of right until they've been proven, proven wrong I've seen many long-term charts especially for XRP where it looks like a beautiful arc and it's respecting it until it absolutely breaks past it and it no longer it's no longer ac accurate until the creator of the chart changes it so take this with a pinch of salt Moving over to the next um, yearly candle or long-term Bitcoin chart, you can see here. So this is a, these are yearly candles. When a new high has been formed and, and Bitcoin goes into a bear market, once that high has been broken on a yearly time frame, or, or it's been tested and then it breaks, it forms a new all-time high in a, you know the Bitcoin spectacular way. And normally it's a four year cycle. You can see three years bear market cum accumulation and then that, you know, climb again. And the fourth year is when it breaks all time high. Obviously, this goes up to 2019. So now we have 2020 where we are testing the all time high right here. And the fourth year will be looking to break that. So again, you know this will be three years so 2020 2020 is finishing and 2021 should be the year when we go into the stratosphere as you can as you can see here three years of accumulation you know bear market etc the fourth year is when it explodes past it this you can literally this you can literally copy and paste the current four-year cycle 
into right now. So this green candle would be 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. So we are now testing that all time high and 2021 should be the year that we explode and make, a, uh, you know, into, into the stratosphere, as I said. If you copy and paste 2017 here, we are now at 2020 when we are testing, potentially breaking past the all time high and then the next year will be the year that we break it. So all the indications are leading towards this conclusion that next year, especially near the end of next, or by the end of next year, will be in a whole new price area, probably around 100,000 as a conservative number. So there's still time, as you see in the um, rainbow, um, price chart there's still time it's still cheap still fairly cheap um, because if you look at the top which is a hundred thousand that would be a 5x so that's not too bad obviously the altcoins will offer a lot more returns but 5x is not not too bad and that's probably the safest asset within the market so I'm gonna leave you with that I hope you got some value from that and that you understand we are 100% in the bull market and we have been for the last few months and 2021 especially at the end of 2021 is where the bull market is supposed to be peaking give or take now you got to look at it on a month to month basis but that's probably how it's going to how it's going to end up so you know don't go in don't go in near the end of next year it's going to be too late now is still time to invest so I'll leave you with that and see you in the next video. Peace.